Looking back on 2019, I feel as though we achieved a lot, um, but it was also a very up and down season. Um, obviously from week to week, our performance was a bit all over the place, but I mean the back end, the way in which we finished, um, I think we learnt so much about ourselves as a playing group, um, how to deal with adversity. Um, we had players going down at different points during the season, um, so much that was thrown at us and I think um, the way in which we finished off the season was incredibly exciting, um, yeah, and has then led us into a really good way to start um, preparation for 2020. So obviously right at the start during pre-season we had Maddie go down with her knee and we had Kimmy Poi come in. Um, she was phenomenal. Um, I think she slotted in really, really easily. She added a different dynamic to the group and then as the season went on, particularly after the Netball World Cup break, which that in itself was something really different. Um, I think for the girls that were back here at home, we had two weeks off to start off with and then the second week um, we had Richo and Kate taking the reins because Rob was over in Liverpool and um, the training environment was actually awesome. Um, we had so much fun, we trained incredibly hard and um, I guess no one actually could foresee that that was almost somewhat a rehearsal for then the back end of the season when Rob wasn't there, when his mum passed away and um, you know I think when you have these sorts of things that happen in playing groups it can sort of send you one way or the other and I think it was a real testament of the playing group but also the staff that we had around us. Um, everyone just really rallied together and whilst our backs were against the wall we had then Kelsey go down um, when we were playing in Tassie against the New South Wales Swifts. Um, as we said Rob's mum passing away and um, there was a bit of heartache as well. We had two girls that were pregnant um, so there was certainly a lot but um, everyone just really banded together and I think it was Probably the most enjoyable netball, which sounds really weird with everything that was going on, but um, you know, performance-wise, we didn't know whether or not we were making finals, but everyone just really enjoyed each other's company, and I think you could see that everyone genuinely cared about each other and just wanted to help each other get through to the end of the season, whenever that would be, and, um, and then we were able to probably play our best netball on the back of that, surprisingly. To finish the year um, heading over to New Zealand for the Super Club tournament um, was awesome. Um, to be honest, I think when um, we were coming back into pre-season in November, we just thought, oh, this is the worst. Why are we doing this? No one wanted to be there. Um, we thought this is going to be a huge drag. And um, eventually, once we get got over to New Zealand, it was then probably the best thing we could have done. Um, the group that we had was awesome, um, the staff, the players, it was a really tight-knit group and um, I think we had so much time as well during the day to be able to enjoy each other's company, to see Nelson. Um, New Zealand as a country is just so incredibly beautiful and um, Nelson was certainly that and we actually got some nice weather which I think perked everyone up as well but it was it was just such an awesome time and to get to bond and to know each other um, we didn't train during the day which was um, really really nice all the girls were pretty happy with that so yeah we had lots of time just to um, I guess make the most of that time away um, and then obviously we knew performance was one of the things that we were over there um, to achieve, we wanted to perform well, we obviously wanted to test combinations as well, um, try different players out there which we were able to do and, and just really enjoy playing our netball I think um, you know on the back of such a big end of 2019 just to be able to go out there and enjoy playing, have no expectations, have a bit of fun. Um, there were certainly plenty of laughs um, that was had throughout the week and yeah, probably couldn't have asked for anything more. I think particularly on the back of um, the Super Club um, and then seeing the girls who are back here and Maddie and Kelsey and what they're, they're doing, it's really created a lot of, I think, energy and excitement around the 2020 season. Um, to have Maddie back will be awesome. Um, we know what she can do out there on court and I know she's chomping at the bit to finally be out there playing back out with the girls and it's just the dynamics, I think, the group, um, what we're creating, we are all so incredibly supportive of each other. Um, we know what we're about, we're incredibly protective of that group um, and I think that is really setting us up for what will be um, a really successful and exciting season. And, um, yeah, to play back alongside Maddie um, will be awesome. She's just so incredibly skillful. Um, yeah, and it is, it's going to be exciting, something that people, um, I think, will really look forward to, to watching us. And with Jodie Ann coming in as well, um, I think the players that we have off the, 
so much diversity, different combinations and a lot of excitement all across the court which um, will hopefully keep us um, great to watch. I just want to enjoy playing, um, hopefully being back to some of my best netball, hopefully not as inconsistent as 2019 um, and just being creative, loving being out there and able to continue building on my craft and, and working on the combinations and I think another season under your belt um, with the players around you is amazing. Um, people can certainly underestimate um, that time together um, and what that can do for you out there on court. So um, this grandma will be walking out with her, with her cane <laughs> and certainly making the most of what could potentially be my last season, so we'll see.